I don't mean to toot my own horn, I really don't, but I feel like freaking superwoman. <laughs> Shine, everybody very good morning so I have a ton of laundry that <laughs> I need to put away this morning but finally I have a day off again so it is the weekend which I'm so excited about um and this weekend I actually get like Friday Saturday and Sunday off Sunday we have something very very special planned but I need to wait just one more day before I can tell you guys all about it so that's so exciting um, really quick, right away, I'm gonna throw in a clip because yesterday, Thursday, my husband finally got a day off after almost a month. So, it worked out that I wasn't like vlogging because I usually don't vlog on Thursdays, but we just had such a good day together. We got a lot done. I'll talk about all that, but my NYX liquid lipsticks <laughs> um, came in Wednesday night when I got from work, so I unboxed it yesterday. So I'll go ahead and throw in that unboxing right now. Excuse the mess in the background. <laughs> Clothes I gotta put away. But I'm a little too excited to wait till tomorrow to open up my new NYX lipstick. So I ordered these May 3rd and I got them on the 11th. So what, eight days or so it took for shipping. So a little bit, well, I mean, they say to, ex to uh, expect anywhere between a week and 10 days for delivery. So it did fall within, you know, their standards and stuff, but it definitely took a little bit longer than stuff that I've ordered in the past, not from NYX, but just in general, but it's fine. Um, so I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to open this. Um, oh, okay, there's a piece of tape on the back here so there should be two lipsticks in here um i'm not going to swatch them for you because i'm going to save the swatches for the full video that i'm going to do but i will show you so inside this is what we're looking at so we got some bubble paper this is the first time i've ever ordered from nyx so that is actually adorable it's like a lace bag you see that i don't know if it's picking up totally on camera but my two lipsticks are in here i kind of want to keep this bag and use it um maybe even for like travel so finally finally i was able to get my hands on these two of course i had to order online but finally i have exotic in my hands and i have bedtime flirt in my hands one is kind of a uh, reddish and then one is very similar to the other ones uh, in the sense of color they're all kind of similar um, but this looks really really nice as well so I'm so glad I finally got these so I'm so happy with the colors um, one of them the bedtime flirt one I actually wore yesterday to work after I unboxed it oh my god I love that color but anyway, so when TJ had his day off yesterday, what did we do? We we went outside for quite a while and just kind of looked at outside and like try to figure out what we sort of want to do with the yard. Um, we ended up getting this, um, I'll show you. We found it in a dumpster, I'm not even kidding. But this big chair right here, that chair is actually going to replace the round chair that we have out front so i wanted to go to hobby lobby today to see if i can't find any like outdoor throw pillows to put on that bench because it's gonna move to the corner so yes we will be going to hobby lobby um see what we can find there but yesterday we also went to target i got uh i had to buy more of these glasses i ended up buying like a four pack of the stemless wine glasses to finish my dining room uh my dining room table with silverware or like dinnerware um i also got this like dish tray this for butter and it's just ceramic white i just got it at target i really really liked that what else did i get well, we did just a little bit of food shopping. Um, <laughs> what was funny is the other day, I, I meant to go out and pick up dish soap, but I, I completely forgot. So I had to go out yesterday and buy dish soap as well. And I ended up buying this Lemmy Shine Concentrated Dish Soap. I don't know, but I really like it. It's lemon scented, it's really fresh, 
and I really enjoy it and it squirts out from the bottom which is pretty cool oh and one more exciting thing so we went out and went to Home Depot as well yesterday and we got a light it doesn't have a light bulb in it at the moment but we got a light so we're gonna get a matching light for over the sink right that <laughs> that hole right there um, but we just bought the one light because they're always in stock so that's pretty cool we just gotta get a light bulb for it um but i kind of like while i'm at hobby lobby looking for throw pillows today i kind of wanted to find decorations that would go with that just to sort of tie the kitchen all together you know what i mean have everything sort of match anywho i feel like i've been talking a lot already so i'll let you go and we'll probably come back after ella takes her nap because then that's when we're gonna go out and actually do stuff Oh my gosh, so I was just cleaning my kitchen and I looked outside. I hope you'll be able to kind of see that. But do you see that bush right there with the purple flowers? That has never bloomed before. That's been there since I moved in, but it's never sprouted those purple flowers. But they're really, really, really pretty. So I kind of want to like, over there on that side of my house is pretty hidden. So I'm kind of thinking about maybe digging up that tree and putting it somewhere else where it's much more visible. Like maybe near the shed because our shed is so ugly. <laughs> but just to maybe dress it up a little bit. I don't know. So I lied. We're going to head out now before her nap. I still have laundry to do but that can wait until later. Ella, you want to show them what you're wearing? <gasps> you beautiful dress. It's supposed to be no, 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 we're going to close that because we're leaving. Um, I think it's supposed to be like 70 degrees. I think it's supposed to be like 70 out today. So I have a sweatshirt on her for now. Whoa, whoa, are you ready to leave? You want your juice? Ella, juice? Bubby, that's mama's shoe. Juice? Well, she's distracted. Oh, you want your juice? Here you go, baby. Um, I'm just wearing this long uh, gray dress. It can go like all the way long sleeve, but I rolled it up because it's supposed to be warm out. And then for shoes, I'm just wearing these white pumps. They're super comfortable though. Very easy to walk in. And I got her some peanut butter crackers, some socks because, well, when we get there, okay, so Alta and Hobby Lobby are right across the street from one another. So I was gathering all the lingerie lipsticks I have now, and I'm missing one. I don't know where it went. I know I bought it, but I can't find it. So I gotta go get it. It's number six. So while we're at Ulta, I'm gonna let her go to the Play Plays thing while we're there. So we're probably gonna do Hobby Lobby first, and then just go right across the street to Ulta and the Play Place. Hobby Lobby, do 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 do. Hobby Lobby, do 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 do. Hobby Lobby, do 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 do. So I came here kind of to look for stuff outside, but also for my kitchen. And I came across this vase, and it's fifty percent off. But I really like it. It has the colors of my kitchen, so it's only fifteen dollars. But ooh, these are really gorgeous as well. Look at these flowers. Oh wow. So originally twenty three. 99. I really like those um, candle holders too, but I already have candle holders. Or do I like the pineapple better? Which is $25.99, so even more expensive. But I don't know. I don't want to like spend it all right away, so I'm going to look around. I'm looking for vintage like kind of looks worn down sort of look for my kitchen that's kind of what I'm going for although I freaking love these the um these candle holders they're really gorgeous they're $24.99 each I don't think they're on sale but I like these candles as well so I ended up putting the ceramic um uh, vase that I showed you away because I kind of want to keep everything sort of matte but I found these bowls I got five of them but I've been looking for bowls to go on top of my plate so I want my kitchen to be a mix of almost modern but rustic at the same time so I thought that was exactly what this is. 
So I'm an idiot, and I mean a massive idiot. So when I was at Hobby Lobby, I ran out of space on my phone, which, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> I try so hard, but sometimes I just forget. And yesterday I didn't vlog, but I ended up recording two longer videos, so that's what was taking up space on my phone. But it kind of works out that I didn't show you everything that I got at Hobby Lobby, because now we can do a home decor haul from Hobby Lobby and when we were at we left Hobby Lobby when we went right across the street to the mall and I went to Ulta and of course they didn't have the lipstick that I was looking for Ugh. and um so we didn't go to Ulta but we ended up going to the play thing she had fun there and then we I stopped at icing on my way out just like a spur of the moment I just want to go into icing um but it really like quick side story so when I left Hobby Lobby I went to the mall went to Ulta no lipstick so then I had to go to the bathroom because I had to change Ella her diaper is getting kind of full so when I was coming out of the bathroom like after I changed her I walked past Medusa which is like a body piercing shop and there was this guy there who happened to be browsing something near the window and <laughs> when I walked by he was like like he like stared at me through like through the window and I was like all right that was really creepy and then a couple minutes later because like Medusa is right next to the little play thing so I went to the play thing then that guy comes over but he comes like with his daughter or something which I didn't see her when I first saw the guy through the window so it's like oh so he was like grilling me the whole time it was just super awkward. Anyways, I think I'm going to show you what I got from icing first because I'm most excited about the Hobby Lobby stuff. But, so, <clears throat> I saw this ton hat and right, tell me that's not gray and white. When you get up real close, it's white and black. But when I saw it from afar, I thought that it was gray and white and I was like, oh, it matches my dress. And I saw on Pinterest not too long ago, this woman, she had this gray dress on, almost a business dress. And then she had a sun hat, like this one, but then her hair was pulled up into like a low bun or something. I don't know, she had some on um, sunglasses. She just looked so cute. So when I saw this hat, I thought about that uh, picture I saw on Pinterest and I was like, oh, that would look so cute. So I'm not a huge fan of what my hair is doing today. So I might put on a hat and put it in a low bun once I'm done filming this haul. And then the second thing I got from icing was just this tiny little ear cuff. So I, I don't like pain at all. I'm a big baby when it comes to like piercings and tattoos and stuff and that's why I don't have a lot. Um, but I really, I have always wanted a piercing up here. I'm just really afraid to do it. So I found my solution and it's a little ear cuff. So it just sticks on with no pain. Although <laughs> I'm kind of hurting myself at the moment. My hair is kind of in the way. Okay, so you just kind of loop it around your ear and then you can tighten it. But yeah, I thought it might look super cute, especially if I put my hair up today, at least, you know, you'd be able to see it. But yeah, so I got that. So that's everything that I got from icing. Like it wasn't much. It was just those two things. But I'm so pumped about the stuff I got at Hobby Lobby. So you did see kind of one thing, like a quick glimpse of one thing. So I ended up buying <laughs> those. I'm gonna call them coconut bowls because that is pretty much exactly what they remind me of. They're not like super coconutty looking though and that's why I bought them because I was like, I wasn't sure if they'd really go with my kitchen but I'm like, you know what, well, I might as well just give it a try but I just, I really loved the inside of them and everything I got was on sale but originally these were $5 each but um, I think I paid 60 something all together for everything so. I got, uh, yeah, five of them, so we'll try them on our table in a minute. Uh, let me see. I'll save that thing for last. Okay, so I got uh, these napkins. They're almost burlappy, and I don't know, like, uh, I'm trying to go with a theme for my kitchen, but I keep going back and forth between stuff, like, just sort of mixing and matching and see what can go and see what really can't go together um but when I saw these napkins I figured I'd give them a try so these had a set of four I have six play settings so I ended up buying two packs of them 
They were originally $11.99 each. I'm not sure what I paid for them, but I can actually go ahead and just open up a package to show you guys because um, I saw these on display and they just looked really, really nice. But uh, they just come out in big squares. And see, they're not like super burlappy, and that's why I thought they might work. Um, you can definitely see through them. But I don't know. Well, I mean, we'll give it all a try. Um, but yeah, so I got two packs of those. Then I got two big candles because I'm going to redo my centerpiece. And I was looking at candle holders too, but they were a little bit expensive. So I might go back if um, and see if they're on sale. But I want to get two candle holders for the new centerpiece I'm going to show you because I want to put these candles on either side of the centerpiece. And their candles are always buy one, get one 50% off. So originally these were $16, um, but they're really neat looking um i'll take off the plastic actually so you can see it a little bit better but i just really liked the colors and the design of these candles i thought they looked amazing hobby lobby has amazing candles like really really unique and cool looking candles so that is what it looks like but do you see how it's like textured it almost reminds me of like shells or even fish scales for some reason but that's kind of what it looks like but very softly scented. I don't, I don't think there's like a true scent to these, but I got two of them. Okay, I did end up buying this little tiny bouquet of flowers. This I think was maybe 11 something. This is for my centerpiece, but they almost match the ones that I already have in there, but I just needed some more. So this is the part that I'm so excited about. It's actually the last thing I got too, but look at this freaking centerpiece. Okay, so it, it sits on your table like this. Like imagine the hand, my hand is a table, flat surface. And look at it, oh my gosh, it is so cool. So it's like a vase that's tipped over, but then it has like a big crack in it. So I was like, the way they had this displayed, which sold me, was they had these flowers actually right in the vase. I was like, oh my goodness, look at how gorgeous this is. So what I'm going to do now, oh my gosh, is not set my house on fire. I have a candle lit and this was so close to the flame. Um, I'm going to try to play around with the table a little bit and see if I can't get something that I kind of like or, you know, get to a point where I can sort of ask your guys' opinion. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is what I have so far. So keep in mind that I do want to find, again, candlesticks for these two candles. So elevate them a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if I want to keep the salt and pepper shakers here or not, um, or just like take them off the table completely. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure. But the centerpiece itself is so freaking pretty. I added a little bit of flowers to it from my old centerpiece, but this is what the place mats or play sets look like too. So they have the round white ceramic, the napkins that I just bought underneath mm -hmm. folded in a square. So they're just a little bit bigger than the plate on top. And then the bowls that I just picked up. Unfortunately, I needed six and not five of these so hopefully i can find these again i'm gonna save the um the oh my goodness the tag so i know you know what brand or where to get them maybe i can buy them online but yeah it looks adorable and um finally you know i got enough of these i might see if i can't find cups that would kind of go with this theme um just because i feel like the clear glass is a little bit uh I don't know. I, I just don't feel like it goes 100% with it, but I'm pretty happy. And then again, the light. So you have the light sort of tying in the theme. I know it's kind of hard to see, but. And I've gone ahead and ooh, got right, threw my hair up into the bun to try out this hat, which I think I brought it upstairs. I may actually just want to leave my hair in a ponytail because the hat comes kind of low. It's sort of hard to, oh, there's a bobby pin stuck. I don't know, just a ponytail? Not really sure, but we'll try it. Put the hat on. I, don't, I never know how to, st <laughs> how to style these freaking things. It's just like, oh, so big. 
Mm, I don't know. I have to play with this some more, but I'm probably going to save it until tomorrow anyways, though, because it's actually super cloudy out today. <laughs> so I think it might be a little bit silly to wear a sun hat. I don't mean to toot my own horn. I really don't, but I feel like freaking super woman because right now my that big um, round chair was just up on my porch. I got it out all by myself and then I put this chair that we got. So funny story behind this chair. TJ went out yesterday to help um, his two friends who are also dating uh, get a few things from Pier 1 and I never shop at Pier 1 because they're a little too pricey for me. So my friends had bought this chair, this exact chair for $300. Keep that in mind. TJ had a drive out back. <laughs> he had a drive out back um, to help them load some stuff and saw something in the dumpster and he's like isn't that your chair or whatever so he found this in Pier 1's dumpster because it does have I mean it has this but I am gonna get like a cushion for it it's still it supports you you know what I mean like I'm not gonna break the chair I'm sitting right on the hole um so I am gonna get you know um something to cover that either throw pillows it kind of sucks because it's like not in the way corner um and then right here got a little jacked up um i believe probably when they threw it in the dumpster but a 300 dollars chair with a couple things wrong with it i was like hell yeah so and then this 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 weighs 100 pounds <laughs> i don't care the pot itself is not heavy the soil in it was heavy you want to know where i moved it from the bottom of the stairs you see where that pot is right there that is inside the bigger pot i gotta move it but i had to drag that thing up these stairs i felt pretty damn strong not only we're not done we're not done oh no we're not done i moved oh well i freaking lost it but my washing machine was here and now it's in there because i'm crazy and wives who are too impatient to wait for their husband do crazy things so i Oh, there was like a little chipmunk that just ran underneath my stairs. Um, but I'm going to go grab this small pot so I can put it into the bigger pot. These flowers should be coming back. They come back every year. Maybe they just haven't gotten enough water, but they're really pretty when they do. I'll show you why. I'll fix that. <laughs> but they're kind of like vines, so they hang down and stuff. Obviously, they're dead at the Momo, but we'll try to revive them. But I got to get that pot back in there. Honestly, I just can't. I'm so happy with over here, so I do want to get an area rug. Um, we are going to repaint the uh, porch and stuff, um, but I want to do, I do want to get an area rug and then whatever area rug I decide, I want to get pillows or cushions for that. But I'm so happy because we got our grill here and then, you know, we got our chair and we can just hang out and enjoy and Oh, I just I feel so good. I feel like my house is just making so much progress. You know, you really don't um, appreciate the things you have as little as they might seem until you don't have it. And I was just talking about this with my friend Amber yesterday when I worked with her because I was telling her that we finally have a kitchen sink. What? just fell down my shirt. Okay. <laughs> I said we finally got a kitchen sink, but it's like life-changing having a kitchen sink is like the best thing you can have one of the best things you can have in your house it's just you don't realize like how annoying it is to actually not have a sink and then once it's taken away you're like oh wow I could really use one but I appreciate it more now than I ever would have because I didn't have it I see a bunch of ants and I'm gonna sweep you off the porch before you get into my house so I'm in the room that shall not be named, <laughs> my stupid den, the den that still needs a ton of work, but I've had this piece of furniture for quite a while and I've been debating on th just throwing it out, but I think I might have come up with a genius solution because I have this big tin here which I thought would be so cool if I, like I've already kind of started, but I marked out where I would need to cut a hole. So imagine this tin, oh, it's kind of heavy. This tin, right, it would be in the table so it would come down 
you'd be able to see like the bottom of the tin down here but then like to have like glasses and like not a coffee bar but this would be outside right next to that patio thing but how cool would that be because then you can have ice and beer and drinks and stuff i just thought that might be a really cool idea but i need to find a tool to be able to cut through this also started another project so you see all this all this schnoz it goes all the way back that's going to be all dug up. I'm trying to salvage the plants because I wanted to do, if you can see, way over here, you see how there's like th these lilies almost bordering my yard? So I wanted to continue that up there more. Um, so I'm going to use these plants to do just that, but they got to go. And there's, um, I'll show you over here, that tree that I was showing you guys earlier this morning. The purple one, um, it's really gorgeous. And I wanna move it closer to the house to give it some more color, but it's bigger than I thought. <laughs> so, but it's not terrible though, but I need to, I think I'm gonna put it where I showed you guys where those lily, uh, lilies are. So what I'm thinking is about putting them, the tree like on this side of the house, I don't know. Flowers are looking good. I gotta get some more to fill it in a little bit more. Um, this is the same plant that I just put up on my porch. I don't know if they're gonna come back. I, I'm not 100% sure, <laughs> but I'm gonna water my plants real quick. Cooking Ella some lunch now. Where is she? Where'd she go? Hey, you're not supposed to be in there. Excuse me. Um, but I've been all about the projects today for some reason, and we're eventually gonna put a backsplash up, but that is like the last thing we're doing in this kitchen. So for now, this is cute. Whoa, thank you. What is that, the letter T? T, U, T, Little baby. <laughs> oh, T and you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I put this up just for now. I think I'm going to move the shelf down just a little bit more so there's like space where the picture is. Um, but I don't know. I think it looks cute and it's temporary and it, it works. So um, I'm just making us some mac and cheese. But after we eat, I actually want to go to Walmart and try my luck with some... <laughs> try my luck finding some uh, uh, candlesticks for these candles. If we can't find any candlesticks, then I'll just um, try to find stuff for like the outside, the part that I was working on, any cushions or anything like that. <laughs> 